Gracias. put pads on this guy and he's like no other player I've ever seen. You can't find a guy as versatile as a Marshall Falk. I don't know if there's ever been one in the National Football League. What an effort by Marshall Falk. I mean, he exuded confidence like, I'm good. You know what I mean? And he was. You know, he's going to beat anybody one-on-one -on, -one on a routine basis, you know, just going to do it. What he had, you can't coach. The instincts quickness and speed and the vision, he could see things coming that many people can't see him coming. You're born with that. You can't explain that. You can't play by play that. You can't tell somebody what I just saw. Holy smoke. Did you just see that? Actually, there's one against the Saints in 99 that might be the best one of all time. He pops out of this thing, and all of a sudden he takes off for about a 25-yard game. No, to defensive coordinators, anything is possible. Well, I remember one game we were playing against the Cleveland Browns. I'm saying to myself, did I just see what I just saw? And that's when everybody, like, started calling him Superman. Marshall Falk is in the backfield, freshman from Louisiana. grown men and the question for myself was can you play this game on this level I think you break the big one very soon I think he said something <laughs> this is a new star in Indianapolis in his first game Falk ran for 143 yards and three touchdowns he finished the season with nearly 1300 rushing yards and was named Rookie of the Year. Manning takes the snap, hands it off the fault, trying to go inside. He may go! Indianapolis finished in last place, but Falk enjoyed his best season in his five years as a Colt. Through 14 games, he was the NFL's fifth leading rusher. The player they would call Superman had landed in St. Louis, but he hardly looked the part. There's some guys in the NFL that are physical specimens that you go, that guy's going to be a superstar. Marshall wasn't one of those guys that you looked at outside of pads and said, man, I bet that guy's one of the best athletes that ever played. And I mean, I remember I would bring people into the locker room and Marshall would be over there sitting in his locker and they'd look at me and they're like, who's that in Marshall's locker? And I'm like, it's Marshall Falk. They're like, what? And no, that's not Marshall. I'm like, trust me. And then they would put in an extra DB and that guy was supposed to cover him one-on-one, -on -one, that's not gonna happen. Or blitzes. If we released him, they gotta count for him. After a while, people, they just quit blitzing him. He would defeat the blitz too easily. Marshall's basic routes where he acts like he's going into the flat and he comes over across the middle on a delay route. Still to this day, we call it the fog route, but nobody ran it like Marshall did. Where do we want it? 
Where are we going to put him? And how are you going to defend him in all those different spots? He wasn't faster than a speeding bullet or more powerful than a locomotive. But his physical gifts transformed the Rams from bad to good. His intelligence made them super. He knew how to get himself ready. He knew how to prepare. He was mentally going to be better than everybody he played against. The smarter backs I've ever been around in my life, and I've been around some good ones. I know a few that are lawyers right now that played in the league. Yeah, and that are, they were very smart. This guy's smart. The one thing that he taught me was the first thing a back does when they line up is they look at the safeties for run support. Because if he does break out, he wants to know who's got their run and who he has to beat by himself. He would manipulate the linebackers or safeties with his eyes. He would look a certain way and stare that way to get them to kind of cheat over, and then he'll go the opposite way. In 1999, with Falk in the backfield, a previously unknown quarterback became league MVP. Falk caught 87 passes for more than 1,000 yards. 15, cutting right again to the 10, heading to the outside, 5, end zone, touchdown, Rams! Yeah! And ran for nearly 1,400. The Rams finished with an NFL best 14-2 record and the most points over a three-year span in NFL history. But in the NFC Championship game, they sputtered. And I told him at halftime, we're going to run football. He tuckled his helmet up in the locker room. <laughs> and out the field we go. Coach Marsh was like, hey, we're going to come to you. We're going to come to you. We're going to come to you some more. Coach Marsh ran him so much. I mean, he had snot bubbles in his nose. In the second half, Falk carried the ball 22 times and scored two touchdowns. He finished the game with 159 rushing yards. He was the greatest, most unselfish player that I've ever seen. A guy that was ultimately just happy for our team success and ultimately happy for the success of other guys. Um, and that, to me, is what leadership's all about. They called him Superman. He couldn't leap tall buildings in a single bound, but he did lift an entire franchise and brought them to a place they had never been. Superman's greatest trait wasn't his superhuman strength, but his willingness to help others. One of the most unbelievable guys in the NFL in the locker room. He taught me so much about not just the game of football, but about players and, and the effect things have on them. A change in how I coach, just listen to Marshall. It's about how you lead and showing this team that we're all about team, you know, that we're not about a bunch of individuals, and it always starts with your greatest players. If they show that and display that, it becomes easier for everybody else, and that's exactly who Marshall Falk was. I don't care how great you are, you need to be pushed beyond the motivation that you have. Water on play action, stands in, fires the slant, Marshall Falk's got it, breaks the tackle, he's in the clear, at the 30, ball clock, 20, at the 10, 5, and he is got it. in, yeah. touchdown, Marshall Falk. It's not supposed to happen like this, it's not supposed to be yes, this easy yes. for an offense to score. It demands a team effort. That's why football is the greatest sport. Listen, do not be afraid of excellence. Yeah. Win or 